Hey guys, and welcome back to RDM COC again. <clears throat> so this time it's time for Cavalier 1.2, the Silver Surfer one. And we're gonna make a walkthrough like we did with the Heimdall one, with the, the Cosmic one, and this is the, the skill one. And um, let's go through the quest. I'm just gonna join with a random team again here just to talk about it. So the note itself, if we look at this, is uh, skillful uh, distraction and all the skill attack is printed defenders evade if they are suffering from a disorient incinerate or shock effect and then every time uh, skill attack is gained an uh, indefinite uh, passive fury increasing attack each time the defenders evade is prevented and if you try the, it's mixed master if you try the same basic attack uh, they evade and when the defender is knocked down, that's a special note for this path. So basically, ideally, um, you want to use a skill attacker and put on a disorient, incinerate, or shock effect. That's the, the best way to do it. Then you print them from evading, and then you use the attacks, you get furious, and you just basically do more and more damage over and over. So that's the basic idea of the note. Uh, there are a few other options uh, I'm going to walk you through, but um, that's the, the, the main goal of the note. And then we have the boss, which is a Silver Surfer. And he has some attacks, insult to injury, steady build up, fractured uh, guard. Um, mainly these note doesn't do a lot actually. Um, um, if you have debuffs on you, you uh, reduce your defensive uh, ability accuracy. So be careful when he does heavies, you get armor breaks on you and then you, you have a reduced uh, ability accuracy and you have a really hard time parrying for instance you can bypass this by bringing in a white magneto for instance and make it a passive stun so if you struggle with uh, fighting against uh, when you, where you can parry bring in a white magneto put on the pre-fight and uh, remember you have to use a hero or a metal champ otherwise it doesn't work um, so that's a good way to bypass it as well uh, besides that, uh, you can use basically any champion. I use Doom in my example, uh, which I've pinned below here. Um, but you can also use uh, Archangel. I did that on most of my runs. Or any champ you feel comfortable with. Just um, just make sure that um, you factor in that when you gain those uh, armor breaks, you will have a harder time sticking your debuffs and your parries and everything with the defensive ability accuracy. With that in mind, you can basically use any champ. So who should you use for the paths? Um, if we go to the champions, uh, mainly use uh, skill. There are a few options, actually. Um, the most uh, used option uh, for most people is uh, Black Widow. And the Black Widow, uh, her advantage is she puts on shock debuffs when you attack. And then they can't evade. And you get a lot of furies and then you deal more damage you put on more shocks and you very very quickly go to 10 uh furies uh with the black widow it's uh it's a really good uh, champion to use you could also use uh, hit monkey hit monkey can put on disorient and also have a pretty high base attack so when he gets those furies he just deals a massive amount of um of damage another good champ is falcon Falcon, you just uh, move back, hold block, put on the lock on, they can't evade. You just uh, keep attacking them. If it runs out, let it expire, go back, start over, put on the lock on. He's a perfect candidate for this um, this note as well. You can use uh, Nick Fury when he gets <clears throat> a lot of stacks. You can um, you can use him and they won't. Uh, he will bypass the, the evade as well. You can use Mole Man. Mole Man... Um, has you can he has true uh, accuracy so uh, they won't be able to evade as long as you keep the monster mass low so you don't get uh, up to your <coughs> above 10 so they will uh, <coughs> keep evading and then who i use personally is actually or mainly that it's not a um, it's not a science champ actually i use corvus mainly and uh what you want to do with corvus is you need to bring a synergy champ you need to bring um proxima midnight when you bring Proxima Midnight, then what you do is you go in, attack them, let them evade the first time. When they evade, you parry, you heavy, and then you will have True Strike as long as you have Glaive Charges. And you can just fight normally, and uh, the True Strike will also give you your first mission, so you deal more damage. 
It's uh, super smooth, and most fights, even with a 5-star rank 5, will be almost over when you get a special 2. Remember, when you use your special 2 with Corvus, if you didn't know, uh, you have to stick at, at least one Glaive Charge, otherwise you don't really do damage. When you run out of Glaive Charges, you won't have true accuracy, or you won't have true strike. So they can evade if you do that, so be careful with that. You can parry, do a few hits, move back, wait until you have... Um, have glaive charges again. It can be a little tricky if you forget. Um, I've done that in the past, not in this one, but um, um, I think this is the easiest way to do it personally, and I think it was super smooth uh, to do it with uh, Corvus, and I really like this note with Corvus. But otherwise, you can use all... Um, basically, most of the skill champs have some kind of way to negate the evades with all the passive they put on. You can also use Gwenpool or Masak Masaka or... Or different kind of uh, champions <clears throat> and the note is fairly simple and you will stack a lot of furies uh, pretty fast if you use those champs and uh, down below i pinned uh, who i used and how i did the quest and you can also see from one to six uh, i went all through and you can go back or forth on the live stream whatever you like and i hope you like this uh, this walkthrough let me know what you think about it in the comment section let me know who you used and let me know if you want more of this thank you for tuning in